After setting up Acuity, go through the scheduling process as if you were a client to verify everything's working the way you want. First, create a test coupon that you'll use to book free test appointments. If you haven't integrated with the payment processor and aren't collecting payment during booking, you can skip this step. Click Appointment Types, then Coupons, and New Coupon for Appointments. Enter a code of your choice. Set the discount to 100%. Select Unlimited Uses and any appointment type. Make sure the coupon won't expire, and then save the coupon. If you've embedded your scheduler in the website, go to that page on the website as if you were a client. If you haven't embedded your scheduler, find your general scheduling page link. To schedule a test appointment, choose an appointment type, date, and time. If you're collecting payment during booking, use your test coupon to cover the cost of your appointment. After you've created your test appointment, view your test appointment in the Acuity calendar and in the client list to experience how both work. When you're done testing, cancel all of the test appointments you scheduled. To remove the client profile and all associated appointments, click Clients, then click the name you used during testing and delete the profile. And if you created a test coupon, you can delete this from the Appointment Types menu then click Coupons and delete the coupon. In order to buy a test package, create your test coupon from the Packages, Gift Certificates, and Subscriptions menu. This coupon should be identical to the coupon created for the test appointment. Then use the coupon to buy a test package from your scheduler. When you're done testing, you should delete the test package order as well as the test coupon. To test the payment processor you've integrated with Acuity, you'll need to make an actual payment and then send yourself a refund. Your payment processor will charge a fee for the transaction, which won't be refunded. To minimize the fees you'll pay for this test, create a discount coupon that deducts all but $2 of the appointment type. This will ensure that the amount you pay is large enough to be accepted by all payment processors. Then when you're reviewing your appointment details, click the arrow next to the payment notation to be taken to the payment details in your payment processor. Then issue yourself a refund in the payment processor. Please let us know if you have any more questions. We're always here to help.